Hey Crypt Keepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt today. We're going to be continuing my series where we play and we test out these paranormal games and paranormal rituals that are quite scary and I've got a really cool one for today. This one is known as the Raven Man and it's quite an interesting ritual but I think what's going to make this video a little bit different and even more interesting than the other games that I've played is I'm going to be directly involving you guys in this ritual, in this experiment, in this paranormal investigation. Now if you are a little bit hesitant or a little bit scared feel free to continue watching this video because you're going to need to do something quite specific to be dragged into this and to be completely involved and I will explain that a little bit later. But you know what guys I'm so excited to do this because since I started uh, this series on my channel which was all because a lot of us were on quarantine, on lockdown, we couldn't really go anywhere and investigate Heaps of you guys have said to me that you've really, really enjoyed me playing these paranormal games. You want to try them yourselves. You want to be more involved. You want to play these games with me. And that excites me so much for what I'm doing tonight. So before I get stuck into the details of how you can participate in this paranormal experiment, I want to run through the rules and the steps on how to summon our Raven Man. Gather your supplies. You will need a room that is both quiet and dark, salt, five candles, matches or a lighter, a drop of blood, and something for protection. Once night has fallen, ensure your room is dark and quiet. Make sure to keep something on you that will offer you protection through this entire ritual. Use your salt to draw a circle on the floor large enough for someone to stand within. Then line up the five candles in front of your salt circle. Now recite. On this dark night, I call on the Raven Man. Appear before me here and now and do my will. As you recite this line, light a candle. Repeat this line as you light each of your first four candles. You'll need to do things a little differently for the last one. Touch a drop of your own blood to the fifth candle and say, The flame is my beacon. The blood is my sacrifice. Then proceed to light this final candle. The Raven Man has now been summoned. He will remain confined to your circle of salt, but may make his presence known to you. This doesn't necessarily mean you will see him. Now you are able to ask whatever you wish of the Raven Man. He will provide truthful answers to any questions you have or complete tasks that you assign him. Do not show him disrespect. Once you are finished, you must thank the Raven Man. Extinguish each candle one at a time while reciting, I release you now, Raven Man. Make sure to extinguish each candle without blowing it out. You should now clean up, but retain the salt from your circle. This should now be laid out the front of any door leading into your house. You should also make sure to keep your protective item handy for the next week. Otherwise, the Raven Man could call on you for his service. So that is how we summon the Raven Man. So he's a pretty interesting guy, but he is quite mysterious. No one really knows a lot about this mysterious Raven Man, but it is said that when you summon him, you can ask him three questions, or you could also assign like mini kind of tasks to him. And that is where you guys come, come in. So I think that I'm gonna use some of my opportunity to interact with the Raven Man uh, to get him to answer things for me or, you know, to do things in this room. But I also wanna send him on an errand to kind of visit you guys. So if you wanna participate in this paranormal experiment and you don't mind a visit from the Raven Man, then make sure that you like this video, watch it all the way through, and also leave a comment in the comment section down below saying, visit me. If you do that, I will be asking the Raven Man to pay you a visit. Now, of course you can keep watching and you do not have to participate in this if you're scared or worried at all. You can watch the whole video and you should be fine. <laughs> But I just thought that this was something a little bit different that I haven't seen anyone do. And I know that some of my viewers are going to be keen as a bean to try this out. But don't forget, guys, if you really don't want to participate in this paranormal experiment, just do not write. Visit me in the comments below. It is that easy. You can keep watching and just, yeah, don't write visit me. Now, I will be asking the Raven Man to visit you at midnight after viewing the video. So make sure that you're ready for that. You get more uh, details 
as the video progresses but maybe you could organize to film your own video or if you have a smartphone you can always download our app the app that Jared and I built ghost tube and maybe you can use that at midnight when the raven man is coming to visit you I'd be so so excited just to find out if he does visit anyone if anything happens or you know you get any results from ghost tube that I think would be really really amazing and I'm really really excited for like the days after this video to see if anything cool happens to anyone now I'm about to get ready to play the ritual I've got um this is like my little protection uh, necklace it is actually a raven and I got this in Salem Massachusetts when I visited a couple of years ago and I'm gonna be wearing that for the next week to kind of protect myself in case the raven man is like lingering around me and you guys know if you've been a long time viewer of my channel you've probably seen me freak out around birds and that is because I have a bird phobia so somebody a dude called the Raven Man is uh, I'm a little bit worried about it to be, to be perfectly honest but I am excited so I'm gonna get set up and then I think that we're just gonna like dive into this ritual all right guys so I'm gonna start the ritual now I have all my candles set up in the salt ring I also have a number of gadgets in here so I do have my favorite uh, cat balls so if these things are moved they'll trigger and they'll light up and they'll you know flashing lights but they need to be physically moved to do that I've also got a k2 meter um, which is kind of in the circle here so I'm going to keep an eye on that that measures electromagnetic field changes and people believe that spirits can like mess with that so it'll be interesting if any more lights than just the one solid green light kind of light up but I'm all ready to go I've already got my blood on my candle which I hate doing but done and yeah we're just gonna reach out to the raven man on this dark night, I call on the Raven Man. Appear before me here and now and do my will. On this dark night, I call on the Raven Man. Appear before me here and now and do my will. On this dark night, I call on the Raven Man appear before me here and now and do my will on this dark night i call on the raven man appear before me here and now and do my will The flame is my beacon, the blood is my sacrifice. So that is the whole ritual. I don't really feel any different or feel anything one of the things that they say is um the raven man could be could be here with you but you might not necessarily see him so i get three um questions or three uh, kind of tasks that i can assign him uh they say not to ask too much of him because that could anger him but i mean we'll, we'll see raven man Thank you for coming tonight. If you are here, my name is Amy and I appreciate you joining me if you have. I do, I must ask, uh, can you please give me a sign that you are here? There's so many ways that you can give me a sign, whether that is touching me, making a noise, interacting with anything inside of the salt circle. Any of these clear balls, if you touch them and move them physically, they will light up flashing colors. Maybe you can mess with the black device that has a green light on it currently. I did just hear something. It 
sounded like um, something dropping in the room to my left. That room has like um, floorboards. It was very faint, so I don't know if my camera will pick it up, but it sounded it's like something small just dropping on the floorboards. So I don't know, I mean, maybe that is a sign the Raven Man has visited. Maybe it's a sign that he's here. Thank you, if, if that was you, Raven Man. So the next thing that I want to ask of you, Raven Man, and supposedly over the, the coming days, I might get my answer. Um, I would like to know how I can collect evidence of the paranormal actually existing. So for you guys who watch Amy's Crypt a lot, that's like the main goal of what I do. Oh, obviously I try to either prove or disprove the paranormal. I like to debunk things that I know is an actual paranormal evidence. Oh, thank you. Okay, that's interesting. You guys can see that's not like me touching it. And it's so creepy that that's inside the salt circle. This ball is just like going nuts. Thank you if that was you giving me a sign that you're here. Now the last thing that I wish to ask of, of the Raven Man. So Raven Man, I am a YouTuber. I upload the videos that I create onto a platform on the internet called YouTube. And a lot of people watch those those videos. I would love if you could go to the home of anybody who has watched this particular video on the Amy's Crypt YouTube channel, visit their home at exactly midnight after they have viewed this video, but only the homes of the people who have viewed this video clicked like and specifically left a comment saying, visit me. Can you visit their home at midnight and give them a sign that you are out front of their house? Don't hurt them, don't enter their house. Just let them know that you're there. Maybe you can knock on the door. Maybe you can give them a response on the ghost tube app. Maybe you can make a noise turn on or on, off a, a light for them, something just to let them know that you visited. So just to clarify, this is only to visit people who have viewed this video, pressed the like button and left a comment saying, visit me on that particular video. Not to anybody else, just those people. Now in this moment, guys, I don't, I'm not going to get confirmation that this is going to happen. I'm going to rely on you all to kind of report back to me. And I'm kind of interested to know how many people are going to leave me a comment saying visit me and how many people are not going to want to do that. And if you don't want to do that, that is totally fine. I appreciate and I respect that. But if you do want to participate, um, you know, I always say, like, I don't hold a lot of faith in these paranormal games, but you never know. So there may be some risk involved in writing visit me in the comment. You know what I'm saying? But if you're a game, that is awesome. So wait till midnight. Be ready for the, the Raven Man to kind of visit you. Have your ghost tube running. Please come back to the video and leave me like a follow up comment to let me know if anything happened, you got any words, magnetic fluctuations, maybe, you know, someone did knock on your door at midnight, that would freak me out. <laughs> Amazing. But I think I've asked my questions now of, of the Raven Man. So I guess we're going to close out the game. 
All right, guys, so now I need to release the Raven Man and I need to do so by reciting I release you now, Raven Man, whilst, you know, extinguishing each candle and not blowing them out. So I actually have a little egg cup because I found it's really, like, hard to extinguish a candle without blowing it out. I release you now, Raven Man. 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 Alright guys, so that's it. That is the Raven Man ritual and I mean, it was interesting. I got a little noise and one of the cat balls kind of lit up. That isn't like definitive proof to me that there was an entity in my salt circle, the Raven Man. But I'm really like keen and interested to know about you guys and your experience. Like if you didn't want to play, that's totally fine. But if you did comment down below, visit me and hit like on this video after watching, like amazing. Please let me know what happens. Like come back to me, leave a follow up comment to kind of say, hey, yeah, he actually visited, nothing happened. You know, who knows? Like maybe you'll get something cool. Maybe nothing will happen. Now I do have Jared behind the camera now cause he is gonna kind of like help me finish this ritual. The last thing we need to do is kind of like protect um, the house. And one of the things that you do is to like gather up the salt that you use during the ritual and then use that to line the entry points into the house. So like lining the, the door doorways with salt. And I guess that's another thing that you guys could do if you've opted in or even if you opted out and you're a little bit concerned about the Raven Man, just uh, lay a line of salt, I guess, uh, across your doorways to kind of be like, no, man, don't come into my house. <laughs> um, so we're gonna get this salt, Jared. How the heck are we gonna do this? Well, luckily, we luckily we put out this red yeah. sheet, so you can just wrap it up. I thought that far ahead. So let's figure this out. <laughs> I think I've got it. <laughs> All right, let's go to the front door. <laughs> I hope it's not coming out. out here. Um, how the freaking hell do I do this? So what do I do? Your parents can be like, what the f do I Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Is that good enough? Yeah. A bit more? Why not? Well, do you want to make a solid line or something? Like, this is much harder than you think it is. All right. Maybe we didn't just trail a whole bunch of salt for the house. <laughs> Probably have. <laughs> mm. Okay. Is that? Yeah, that'll do. I think that's all. The... Alright guys, I think that's all the salt. Is there any... Oh, Jared, the other door. Side door? Yeah. I just used all the salt. What the f*** are you doing? <laughs> Putting salt by the door. Can <laughs> 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 I don't want a raven man coming in. <laughs> that's fucking. That's salt and pepper shaker. That's like. A, what do you call it? A grinder? Is there salt in there? Yeah, Himalayan pink salt. <laughs> and pepper. Oh, I don't right. think that's gonna protect us. That'll do. We need some proper salt. That'll do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. I'm really, really keen to know if anyone out there watching has experiences. Please make sure to come back to this video after midnight and let me know exactly what happened. I'm so, so excited to hear from you. But if you did enjoy the video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That really helps me out. If you wanna do any more reading about this ritual or any of the haunted locations from around the world I have visited, head to my website, amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me at amyscrypt on my own Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok now. You guys can also get bonus content from me on my Patreon and my YouTube members. They are linked below. But thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time.